now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, the talk of coat drives and holiday department store shopping hours, all in anticipation of the holiday season, will certainly feel a lot more like the holidays by the end of next week. Wait till you see my seven-day forecast. It's already chilly out there. As a matter of fact, it's cold enough right now. Temperatures are flipping quickly through the 40s this evening, and if you're heading out underneath the Friday night lights, temperatures will be dropping down into the 30s in a hurry. Many of you are already down there now. Look at Hamilton. Down to 37. It's 39 in Wilmington. 35 already in Peebles. Oh, 39 in Harrison. 37 in Batesville. So it's going to be a cold night out there. What's going to happen here is that Temperatures will fall fairly steady here during the early part of the evening hours, drop close to freezing, and then kind of level off as some light southerly breezes begin to pick up in anticipation of a slightly milder Saturday. All right, we just missed a beautiful sunset. They're still able to capture a few of those hues of orange and red and blue out there at this hour. It's cold, 40 at the airport. You can already see that breeze out of the south at 3, and that's a warm direction at least speaking and that will prevent us from getting as chilly tonight. High pressure is drifting overhead as that high drifts off towards the east our winds will turn southerly. Now there's a weak cool front that will approach the tri-state tomorrow. However the weekend looks rain free. I don't anticipate any rain. What this will do is help to bring an increase in clouds tomorrow afternoon and kick up some breezy winds out of the south. So overall it's looking like a nice but chilly November weekend for us. Temperatures on the big scale here, talking about 40 here in Cincinnati. This blue represents the cold, and you notice it's kind of beginning to shift its way off towards the east, a little bit warmer as you head towards the Mississippi River. And, well, at least during the daytime hours tomorrow, as we climb close to 50, we'll enjoy some milder conditions. Here's a look at Futurecast. Overnight tonight, very quiet, other than some passing clouds. That's really about it. Again, as that cold front zips through here tomorrow, almost unnoticed, we'll just see a few clouds. Skies will clear up tomorrow night. We'll drop back close to freezing. Again, so it's sunny, cool days with a few clouds and clear, freezing nights as we head through the weekend. All right, big changes are coming in the overall weather pattern, which will have us thinking again the end of January, the dead of winter, by this time next week. As we go through the upcoming weekend, the jet stream, remember, it's the dividing line between the cold air to the north and milder air to the south. Over the weekend, it sets up right on top of us. So our temperatures are a little chilly by mid November standards. As we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week, as that cold air begins to recharge across central Canada and begins to nose into the upper Midwest, we'll see some milder air, at least temporarily pushed into the tri-state. However, that will be very temporary because by the middle and end of next week, just about everyone east of the Rockies will see temperatures that are 15 to in some cases 20 degrees below normal for mid-November, and that will leave us in the deep freeze with highs only in the 30s by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. So 33 for a low tonight underneath a few clouds. And then for tomorrow, expect a decent Saturday, partly cloudy, breezy, and cool. Look for a high of around 51. Here's your day planner. Temperatures will jump into the mid-40s by lunchtime. We probably won't really realize that warmth because it'll be a little on the breezy side. So 51 will still feel a little chilly tomorrow. Near 50 on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, up near 60. Our next real chance for rain in here Tuesday night. And then we just go over the cliff temperature-wise there. We fall into the 30s Thursday and Friday. And those overnight Overnight lows right now are in the 20s. Dare I say, Mike and Sheree, we could even see some teens maybe for lows early next week. It's just way too early for that type of cold. I dare him not 